Hello, sun. Are you winning? Yeah, I think the sun's doing just great. <laughs> I think at this point, I'm gonna keep doing my intros on a green screen set because then I can always add like weird backgrounds. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in a block Bork. I've been wanting to do a helpful type video for a while or a Bork. I've done a few of these like beginner guides. Thought I'd make a video on things I knew before I started block Bork, or I guess, I don't know. Did you know the loading screen loads? <laughs> That's not helpful. So tip number one, if you are looking for any type of job to work here in Blockburg, if you want the best amount of money, I would suggest pizza delivery. Otherwise, if you don't really care what you work as or how much you make, you can work any job you want. My number one job I would recommend is pizza delivery. Just follow the arrow and you'll find a customer. Not only is it the easiest job in the world, it is um, it allows you to explore the map more. So you can kind of get a better idea of where things are. You can like go sightseeing as you're driving and you get a lot of money. The only thing about this job that people complain about is that the moped is too slow and it's boring. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. I, I think so too. But those are the only two downsides is that it's kind of, it's a little boring. I mean, work is usually boring. Yeah, if they made the mopeds faster in a way, I'm sure they would make the pay a little bit lower. So I am happy with the with how the speed is, okay? Okay, we don't need a faster moped. It, uh, uh, yeah, pizza delivery. If you want the money in this game, you don't want to be poor. You don't want to be broke. Just max out pizza delivery. So helpful tip number two. Have you ever found yourself in a case where, you know, you build a house, and you know you start off with like building the shape of it build like a separate room and you want to just color that room only but you can't because everything's already connected well no fear because all you have to do to separate your walls in your house is to exit build mode see we exit build mode we go right back into build mode and guess what just like magic your walls are separated now so you can color your walls or color your rooms without a problem without it infecting the other rooms like that fun useful tip that some people may not know about and some people already do so yeah it is very helpful in a way instead of just like redoing your walls and stuff and wasting potential money just exit build mode and then go back in that's all that's helpful tip number two <laughs> so helpful tip number three before I started Blockberg, uh, there are shortcuts. So if you are playing on mobile or mobile, however you want to say that, this will not work for you. So if you look down here, the garbage can tool, if you press on your keyboard G, you'll be able to like delete stuff faster like this, you know, delete things. Cloning tool right here, press C for copy, copy like a, a wall or, or an object or something, you just press C. The thing right next to that is the coloring tool and you have to press F for coloring coloring of course it'll just easily do that you guys may notice that when i'm building i use these hotkeys all the time because it is so much easier it's more useful more convenient color stuff and texture it way faster you can also press delete if you want to you know delete stuff but i think g is faster but the scale tool if you press v you can also you know scale stuff too of course only if you have the advanced placement game pass but if you want to go up you just press page up on your keyboard and if you want to go down a level, press the key page down, page up, page down, allow you to go up and down. Of course, the undo and redo button. If you want to undo something, you just press Control Z. Um, as you can see, that did the coloring I did. And if you want to go back, press Control Y to go forward again. If you change your mind, you're like, oh wait, I kind of liked it. So Control Z and Control Y are your best friends. I use Control Z way too many times. So helpful tip number four, game passes. Some game passes are actually going to save your life. So these are the only ones I suggest getting. Advanced placement, excellent employee if you want to work for your money. Multiple floors is nice if you want a big house. And they recently just updated this, so it's actually more useful. Um, and premium. Those are the only four game passes I would recommend getting. Um, if you're on a budget, basements would be nice because you could still have like a two-story house technically. The cheapest ones you can get. But large plot, unlock stereo, and basements, I could take it or leave it. I don't really think I would need them. If you do love building, large plot is useful. Helpful tip number five. Have you met a friend on Blockburg and you want to give them really great permissions without having them being able to build on your plot and destroy it well no fear you go to options and you just go to allow roommate building you set that off yes but yeah if you just want to give them a lot of control without having them being able to like actually build on your plot just probably the safest bet so i would just suggest turning this off if you don't want anyone to build on your plot if you don't trust anybody you have trust issues like me then uh keep that off helpful tip number six working i should have tied this with number one anyway if you are working make sure you 
you're in the best moods possible in order to receive the most amount of money. So let's say I'm working as a pizza delivery person, okay? So I'm delivering a pizza. So I'm not in the best moods, as you can see. Everything is like halfway or so. So I only got $2,062. Oh my god. But I'm in the best moods possible. I wish to be able to get way more money than that. So last time we got 2062. And if I deliver to this customer, I will get 2,947 just because I was in the best moods. There is a huge increase in money, which is why I always say make sure you're in the best moods possible as you're working because it makes a huge difference. You probably save a lot more time just like because you get so much more money faster. And yeah, that's why I recommend it. Also, don't buy cash in this game, okay? Do not buy cash. I haven't bought actual cash in this game for years, possibly. You get to level up your job and you get to earn the money yourself, which is very, very satisfying. If anything, you should not buy cash because it does say the easy way to get money, okay? Quite pricey too. I mean, if you're rich, sure, why not? Don't spend your money, just work for it. Uh, because it does get easier as you level up in your jobs. Helpful tip number seven. If you're wanting to scale up any of your skills, <laughs> you can actually scale up multiple things at once. Let's say you want to go on the computer and you want to level up your uh, writing skill. If you also want to level up your intelligence skill, you can also grab the book as you're writing. And you are going to be leveling up your intelligence and your writing at once to get both of those things maxed out together without having to do it one by one. The same thing you can also do like gaming as well. If you want to play games and level up your gaming skill, you can also grab the book too. Helpful tip number eight fixing your floor so i'm sure in many situations when you're in build mode and you're flooring up your house and coloring things i'm sure someone will run into this problem where they don't know how this happened as you can see these wooden planks are placed vertically and then these are horizontally in order to fix this situation if you want this to look vertically like this it usually just depends how you place your points on your floor so it's like opposite so if you place your points vertically first like this it will make it horizontal. But if you start horizontally, it will make it vertical. Wow. Crazy. That is wild. That's like a small thing I never noticed, you know? That is that is flooring tips, okay? Look how different they are. And it this kind of bothers some people, and it sometimes bothers me. I don't really notice it too much, but I'm sure people who are, look at stuff really get bothered by this. So that is just a way of fixing your problems, okay? Just remember opposites. You start vertically, you'll get a horizontal. If you start horizontally, you'll get a vertical. <laughs> okay, that's cool. And also another thing, if you're not sure of where your little couch is facing because it's like rounded, just hold it and then rotate it the direction you want it to face. So if you like move your mouse up here, it'll face that way. And if you move your mouse down here, it'll face that way. So this one's going to face upwards and then this one's going to face downwards. Very, very simple. They don't have those problems. I guess those are like small things. I'm not sure. I'm sure some people like get m mistakes of that all the time. And last but not least, the best helpful tip of all time. This is my most favorite thing of all. If you would like to teleport back to your house without having to walk there, but also would like to have a dramatic death, uh, just reset your character on a hill or something and you go, Wee! You slide off and die. But anyway, guys, that's basically it for this helpful video, I hope. Things I wish I knew before I started Blockberg kind of type of thing. Um, if you are getting into Blockberg, hopefully these things help you in a way. Uh, if you already knew most of these things or you've been playing Blockberg for a while, hopefully there's something in here that you didn't know about and you were like, oh, that's cool now I know. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, you found it helpful in a way, uh, you found it dumb, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I'll talk to you on the next video. Stay tuned, stay healthy, have a wonderful day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody.